Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel, Mr. Delicious here, your tutor in mathematics, statistics, science and physics. So long time no see and here I am again for our uh, tutorial. So the last time we discussed on uh, calculating the area of a circle and calculating the circumference of a circle. So we were only discussing about the uh, use of the formula of this circle and the uh, circumference of a circle. Now, before I will uh, present to you our topic this uh, morning, this is just going to be short. This is part two of our topic, uh, calculating uh, the, the area of the circle and the circumference. So we have here the formula of the uh, area of a circle, which is pi r square. So that means that in order to use this formula, you must see a circle shape so that you will be able to uh, use this formula pi r square but i have a question what if what you will see in a diagram is a semicircle like this one okay this is a semicircle is half of a this is a semicircle. This is half of the circle. So this is our circle here. Okay. And this is a semicircle. So a semicircle is half of the circle. So how would you find or what would be the formula of finding the area of the semicircle, which is half of the circle? Okay. So to answer to that question, uh, this formula, uh, this uh, shape here, a semicircle, this is a semicircle. You are going now to get the area of a semicircle, and that would now become uh, one half times pi times r squared. So the formula now will become uh, area of a semicircle is one half times the constant value of the pi times the r square okay you don't have to worry because when we are going to um, proceed to the uh, topic of calculating the uh, uh, area of the circle we shall also be discussing about how to calculate the area of the semicircle okay so trust me i'll be there for you and as well as if it is a a sector a sector or a quadrant that you are going to find the area of a quadrant so if you are going to find the area of the quadrant that's the quadrant is a quarter so this is okay if you are going to divide the circular shape object into four so this becomes now this side here is a quadrant so that one is a quadrant that forms 90 degrees, 90 degrees as well. So this is a quadrant. So the formula now for the area of the quadrant is equal to 1 quarter times pi times r square. Okay. So that will be now our formula for the area of the uh, quadrant, which is a quarter of a circle. Similarly, for the uh, calculating the circumference of a circle, you will be uh, using the uh, formula which is 2 pi r. Uh, that is when the value of the radius is given. And if we have a diameter, the circumference of the circle will now become pi times the diameter. Okay? Now, we are going to, uh, before we are going to uh, calculate the area of a circle and the circumference of a circle, I want us first to, I want you first to familiarize yourself on the parts of the circle. 
I'm pretty sure that you have already discussed or encountered the uh, topic on calculating the area of a circle and calculating the circumference of a circle. Now, mind you, uh, this is very important for you to know uh, that before you are going to make use of the formula, you need to engage yourself first. You need to uh, familiarize yourself first on the parts of the circle. It's, it's just like the feature of a circle. So what are the features of the circle? <coughs> okay, so we have uh, this one here. So this circular is a circle. Okay, this is a circle. If I'm going to ask you about the, the line segment BE, okay, so I'm going to ask you my first question. This is, will be my first question is the line, uh, uh, I mean the BE in the given diagram. This is B and then towards E. Try to, try to check it uh, carefully. B towards E. What do you call this part of a circle? B making it round towards E. What do you call this one? What is the answer? BE is called an arc. Very good. All right. So BE is called an arc. An arc is shaping like this. So arc BE. So I, 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 I will not write uh, this symbol here for arc because we are asked to identify what does BE what does B towards E called? What is it called? B E. Okay, so now you know B E is an arc. So next question number two. What about question number two? My question number two is what about A B? Okay, check carefully. Where is our A B? Where is our AB? This is our A towards B. What do you call this line A passing through the center of the circle towards B? What do you call this one? Line segment AB is called, very good, diameter. Okay, so if it is, if line AB is a diameter, then what do we mean by diameter? Diameter is a line from, from here, the, uh, circumference of the circle passing through the center of the circle and then moving towards again to the other end of the circumference of the circle for as long as a line from the circumference of the circle passes through the center of the circle and then another to the other side of the circumference of the circle then that is a diameter do you get it now? Okay, very good. Next, number three question. Okay, what about the, this number three? CE. Okay, can you check this uh, diagram here? What does this C from C towards E called? What is it called? From C towards E. C is called 
Look at that. From the center of the circle to, to one point on the circumference of the circle. What it is called. Very good. It is called radius. Okay. Okay. It is called radius. So, line segment C, E is called a radius. Can you name uh, can you name the other radius in this given diagram? Or are, are there still more uh, radius or radii if it is plural in this given diagram? Yes or no? Yes. So okay, what are these? So apart from the uh, line segment C E as our radius. Another line that is also a radius is C, B, C, D, and C, A, or A, C. Why? What is our definition of a radius? A radius is a line from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference of the circle. And that is our radius. Do you get it now? Huh? I'm so excited to be back here. Okay, long time no see guys. Long time no see my dear students uh, around the world. Okay, please stick with me and let us uh, enjoy this journey of the tutorial and coaching of mathematics. Whatever grade you are in at the moment, whether you are grade 6, grade 7, Grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, or grade 12, or even if you're a college student, it is also good to watch this uh, uh, video tutorial because it refreshes your memories on this topic. Okay? Thank you for being with me. Next one, ne question number four. Okay, question number four is, what do you call the point C in this given diagram. What do you call this uh, point C in this given diagram? It is called, very good, the point C is called the center of the circle. So we call it the center. Okay, next one, question number five. Question number five, what about DE? What does, check this one again, DE, what does, this line segment here, DE called, from D to E, what does it called, D towards E, D towards E, what do you call this part of the circle here, D which is from one point on the uh, circumference of the circle to another point on the circumference of the circle. What do you call this one? It starts with letter C. Very good. The answer is a chord. Okay. It is a chord. Okay. It is a chord. Now, I have a question. If DE is also a chord, uh, is a chord, can, uh, and then we have AB is a diameter. Can a, can a line segment AB be also a chord? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Line AB is, can also be named as a chord, uh, but it can never be a, uh, but uh, AB is a, also a chord apart from being a diameter, but DE cannot be a diameter. It can only be a chord. You get it now? You see now the difference? The chord is uh, a, 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 a line that is from one point on the circumference of the circle to any point on the circumference of the circle. So you see that one, circumference here, this is uh, on, on the circumference of the circle, D, and then to the other end, E, and this one also, A, and then B. 
So a diameter can also be named as a chord. Okay? Thank you. Next one, question number six. Our question number six is, um, what's our six? What about FG? What does FG? Let's check here. Where is our FG? What do you call this line FG? Uh, what do you call this line uh, FG? F towards G. What do you call this one? It is a, it is called tangent, okay? Tangent line. We call it as tangent line. So, if this line FG is called a tangent or a tangent line, what do we mean by tangent line? Just define the term by looking at the diagram what do you mean by a tangent line fg with respect to the circle very good tangent line is a line that touches the one point on the circumference of a circle you get it now a tangent line is a line that touches at one point on the circumference of the circle. Therefore, FG is a tangent line. Okay? Alright. So next, question number seven. Question number seven. What do you call our E? What does the, this one? What does this E called in this part of the circle? It is called uh, E. It is called yes, it is a it is a point of tangency. So E is called point of tangency. Okay? Question number nine, point of tangency. Question number nine, mm, sorry, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry. Question number eight, okay, question number eight, the length of CE is the same as, so what do you mean by this one, CE? So let's check our diagram, where's our CE? C E. C E is the same as C B and C D and C A. Okay? So that the answer would be C E is the same as C A. We have already answered this. C A <coughs> uh, C E is the same as C A, C B and C D. Okay, why do you think? Because C E is our C E is our uh, radius. C B is also a radius. C D is also a radius, and C A is also a radius. Okay. Question number nine. Question number nine is uh, the length of A B. Uh, the length of uh, uh, AB, so uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, we'll go only up to question number uh, eight. And so uh, after this, we'll have uh, part three of calculating the area of a circle and calculating the circumference of a circle with the use of the formula. So I hope that you are already familiar with the parts of the uh, circle so that uh, it would be easy for you to solve any problems that 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 looks like a circle with the use of the formula and the first thing that you should do is to be familiarized is to be, is to to familiarize yourselves in, 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 on the parts of the circle or we call it the features of the circle and I hope that uh, you are getting my uh, point here okay so uh, 
Thank you so much uh, for the, the next uh, part is our part 3, calculating the area of the circle. That means we now use of the formula with a given diagram and then at the same time we have word problems of the calculating the area of the circle and calculating the circumference of the circle. So this is Mr. Delicious guys. Please if you have not yet subscribed my channel, please uh, subscribe and also inform others to be part of my tutorial and coaching for mathematics, statistics, science, and physics. I just want to uh, help you out there wherever you are in the world. And uh, I hope that you encounter my uh, video uh, YouTube channel. And uh, I just want to uh, impart to you my knowledge in my areas where I have been teaching for more than 20 years. And this is a, a free tutorial for all of you. So please uh, subscribe my uh, YouTube channel, Mr. Daily Shoes. And uh, also, if you encounter my videos, also just put the, the like on, thumbs up on all my videos. After all, uh, the, uh, it's all very informative uh, videos and uh, entertaining and at the same time, uh, it, uh, it helps you to uh, understand and to learn more. And also, uh, make comments and on, on the video that you are watching. And if you have uh, any certain topic or specific topic that you want me to present, uh, especially for you, then just uh, make your comment uh, below. Okay? And finally, please, please, uh, guys, uh, I want you to also uh, hit the not notification bell button so that uh, uh, and then press all, press all so that you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Okay, so guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Daly Shoes, and this is the end of part two of the uh, calculating the area of the circle and calculating the circumference of the circle. And I am wearing a bilom here. This is a Papua New Guinean bilom and it was given to me by my former student. So thank you so much for this bilom. Okay. I am here a teacher in Papua New Guinea and I am a Filipino by my by citizens. So I am here. So let now I am creating this uh, uh, YouTube channel to help you uh, all the students around the world and as also assisting all the parents around the world. So I'm signing you up now. Please, please uh, follow and observe the uh, COVID-19 protocols and please take care and stay safe wherever you are. Okay? Thank you. Maraming salamat po at ako po ay isang OFW. Ako po ay saludo sa lahat ng OFW sa anmang sulok sa buong mundo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at sana po ay uh, uh, okay po kayo dyan. Okay? So, Ako naman ay Bisaya at ako uh, uh, akong gi uh, akong uh, shout out sa akong mga higala o akong pamilya diha sa uh, Mindanao. Okay, kung kamo ay mga Bisaya, so Bisaya ni bay, proud Bisaya bay. So now uh, uh, again, thank you so much and uh, uh, take care all of you. Okay, bye. Thank you Tata and uh, see you in our part 3 of this topic.